Hello friends, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. This is Cauldron, um, and I am here in the Undercroft of Skyhold, where uh, we are, I was, I was just changing people's specializations and updating them and respecking them based on now knowing that there are specializations, and am I staying in a prison? Is that a bed down there? I'm looking, I can't quite tell. Is that the prison? No, that can't be. No, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just a storage space, or maybe it is a prison. Who knows? Um, so anyway, um, I had last time an issue with why Blackwall and Varric didn't have specializations, and everyone else did. And I talked to my friend of Perstian, and she said it was weird. Um, and so I just flat out Googled it. Why don't couple of my characters have specializations. Um, figured it should be a fairly spoiler-free answer, and it was. Um, the answer, apparently, is that there were two answers that were possible. One is that either they weren't level 10 yet, which they are, or that they um, weren't in my party, in an active party I was in since Skyhold. Apparently that's the thing that triggers it. So I'm going to test that, and I'll see if Blackwall and Varric get specializations, and I'll See you in a second. All right, so we're in Crestwood, but it could be just... Oh, it's not raining. I guess this isn't an area of perpetual rain, and the sun is rising, which actually looks quite pretty. Or maybe it's just the moonlight's brighter because there's no rain. Anyway, let's see if you friends have stuff. Stuff being specializations. Dorian, we're good on. Varric? Yes, yes, this is this worked. Okay. Artificer, 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 um, artificer, artificer, artificer. Okay, <laughs> so we have the artificer now. Um, let's see what this is: traps, spike trap, pyrotechnics. Set them up. Proper placement of spikes and levers. When an ally critically hits, you take advantage. Hail of arrows. Throw everything. Fallback plan. So part of what I'm asking myself with all this is, is there anything I'd really want to respect? Like, I kind of want to get out of this stuff. Um, restoring stamina, stamina on critical hit. Critical hits tear through enemy armor for six seconds. But those are actually not bad. Those aren't. Those don't feel like they're filler. Some of the abilities I ended up putting points into without seeing specializations felt like I was just killing time or filling. But this is one where I'm actually kind of comfortable, um, like, doing points into this from here on out. Like I'm I'm okay putting points into this from now on. Um, or am I? Do I need all of these? Know that I, I don't know that I needed all of these. Maybe I will put some points to Artificer. Anyway, Blackwall, let's do him. Champion. Oh, Blackwall's a champion, so this is a good preview of that. Sworn to give his life to protect his friends and allies, he puts himself between them in danger, and his experience and resolve let him stand against attacks that would fell weaker warriors. Line in the same. Yeah, so this is like he's, he's going full on tank mode. So I'm definitely going to switch him, because I had him being a two-hander, just because why not? But this is the reason why not. Okay, I think the Great Respeckoning is done for the moment, at least. Um, spent a couple thousand, I think, in, in, in gold. Maybe a little less. No, I ran a couple thousand. Um, the next kind of main respec I have in mind is when my character actually gets Reaver, and then I might change her around a bit. But for now... Uh, let's see where I ended up. I won't go through like all the abilities, but I just want to say kind of my idea for each character. Um, so Cassandra uh, converted into kind of a lot of Templar abilities, mixing with some tank abilities. Um, Sarah was never ever quite the daggeriest girl because she's now uh, an archer again. So she's got archer stuff going on, and they started down the. Tempest tree, but I didn't feel the urge to just go wholeheartedly into it just for now because the archer has a, archer has a lot of great stuff in it. Um, Dorian, I stuck with as is. I haven't started on the necromancer tree because fire for him is so flipping good. Um, there were some abilities that 
maybe I could have done without. He's got the barrier ability. Um, but from here on out, the points I'll put into him are will go into Necromancer. Blackwall, um, I went with his champion role. Um, what does X mean? What does the X above to the top left of the icon mean? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I put some points into champion rolls. So it looks like a really good tank tr tank tree. Um, added some weapon and shield stuff for the defensive elements. Uh, can't be flanked, that sort of stuff. And the rest went into vanguard, and that's probably I'll mix mix in ability. Like I'll go for bodyguard next, and then for some um, some other champion stuff maybe. Oh gosh, mistake. Um, Sarah Dorian, Blackwall, Cole. Cole, I went with a mix of um, assassin-y stuff. Assassin looks like, I don't know how much I'll use Cole because it looks like a very high activity type of job, like a lot of really controlling the character in precise ways to make the most of it, um, more so than other jobs. But I mixed that with some dagger stuff. Um, I might eventually do some stealthy stuff too. Vivian, Vivian. I don't really know how to how this Night Enchanter thing will work out. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Some of it seems good, but I'm gonna I mix that with um, with some icy stuff, and yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Gosh, I keep accidentally pressing the wrong button. Solus, um, Solus. I respect a little bit. Um, because I dabbled in other trees and I didn't want to do that, but I gave him, I kept most of his healing magic, most of his spirit magic rather, and starting, am starting on Rift Mage. Firestorm looks like a great, great just area effect damage thing. Um, we're pretty good at one at least. And Varric, oh, Varric I haven't spent points on yet. Um, yeah, so I forgot that I respect Varric, so let me do this real quick. Okay, I'm back. So, I actually, as I looked through it, some of these abilities seem like they're not super. Or they seem like they're not great for the passive way I play him. But elemental mind seems good. But a lot of the things I like about him are that they seem like they give the party a whole boost. Uh, this one gives take them down, gives um, the entire party a better chance to land a critical hit. Um, Tricks of the trade gives the entire party a damage bonus of ten percent help the team make the most of its abilities increasing damage and duration of all status effects of anyone in the party apply anyone in the party applies wait you help the team make the most of its abilities increasing the damage and duration of all status effects anyone in the party applies okay yeah that seems incredible like the fallback plan though it seems good in really specific circumstances if I'm controlling Varric and I just don't do that that often um, yeah so I think I've gotten kind of what I want from the artificer uh, tree and am going to, yeah, like this, another one. When an ally critically hits, you would take advantage with, no, that's a little bit different. Um, but the rest are going into the, the better, um, the or rather the archery skills I like most. Yeah, so that's, I might even from there uh, dive in, dive back into the um, sabotage tree, because uh, some of these are great for more passive stuff. Anyway, that's my new party stuff. So after so let me start head back and get diving into Crestwood. And by going to Crestwood I mean picking up some missions because I forgot that I was doing these. What do we got here? Stop Venatory activity in the West, that sounds like a good one. Utilize the Great Warden trees. Okay. I was correct. Spreading the word that the Inquisition was allied with the Grey Wardens, met messages of support poured in. With the treaties in hand, we've managed to secure new recruits and donations of both gold and equipment. The commander will make good use of them. Josephine. Nice job. Uh, continue investigation. A letter to Leliana with information on the Orlesian. She and the elf are two members of the Bells who practice magic. She has on occasion purchased exotic dragon-related ingredients from, Talvashoth, from the Talvashoth, Although it's unclear whether the Talvashoth gets them through hunting or smuggling. 
new operation unlocked, identify Venatory agent. So this is, again, hunting down Venatory within, yeah, hunting down Venatory within this little neighborhood. Um, identify Venatory agent, an accept from a Ben Hosroth information report. All information about the five bells of Hunterfell has come back negative. The Talpashoth is not the Bard, the Elf is not the Mortalitasi, and the Dwarf is not the Smuggler. And an addendum. We have learned that the Ferelden is the Venatory agent. Ah, okay. But unless we can link her to a specific background quickly, we will lose this lead. We must remove the, the target immediately to stop... This morning. ...to stop Duke Tithus from falling prey to Venatory interests. Um... Yeah, this absolutely feels like a... This could be a Cole or Laliana. Uh, Cole. Uh, Cullen or Laliana, but... Yeah, this appears to be a Laliana. Have Iron Bolt tell the Van Hosroth to in eliminate the smuggler. Uh, have Iron Bolt tell the Van Hosroth to eliminate the bard. Have Iron Bolt tell... The oh, interesting. Um... Wait. All information about the five bells has come back negative. Talvishoth is not the bard. Elf is not the more. I don't understand. I guess I don't understand what's going on in this quest. Um, the Ferelden is the Venatory agent. But we must remove the target immediately to stop. I mean, this is the right way, I guess, but I don't really understand what's going on in this quest, so I'll just Let's go with see it. What we have. Oh, what's this? Conscript for the Inquisition. Well, that settles it. We face a darkspawn magister who commands something that looks suspiciously like an archdemon. I defy anyone to tell me this is no blight. We have Blackwall's treaties, we have cause. Thetis will require little persuasion. Yeah, this is this feels very Josephine. Um, we need to bolster our forces, let me conscript more sculptures. Well, Yana, what we need is information. Grey Warden influence may loosen even the tightest lips. Josephine, information and conscripts are well enough, Inquisitor, but gold secures these things and more. Now let's just go with Josephine for this to help with conscription. At your service. And ooh, rest of resources available, but I don't think we need to worry about that now, and we can't do anything about it now anyway. So we'll leave that be, and now we'll head to Crestwood. Alright, so we are here in Crestwood again. The party I'm going with for now is Vivienne. I really want to see what her what that melee ability is like. Um, Sarah to get some range, and Blackwall because he's a Grey Warden and this is a Grey Warden the area. So let's go. Right. So to the right is ooh, what's that? To the right is Care Bronick. North Gate is where we came from. To the left is the village of Crestwood, which is where we're heading. What is this? A dude, pots around him. Is he wearing a robe, it looks like? He's not wearing armor. We, we're taking six gold. That feels wrong. It feels like we're like stealing from a prayer jar or a tip jar or something, or something intended for people who really need it, like uh, to take. So maybe that'll come back to bite us. For now, let's check Crestwood. Uh, oh, we're not there yet. Is that a rage demon? Oh! Okay, now let me take a second here, because this is where... Alright, Mark of the Rift causes massive damage and even kills some enemies. So can I... How do I add this to my bar? X means I can't, it's currently unavailable, I guess. Have I not put a point into it? I don't know. Oh wait, it's on my screen already. It's on, it's on there. Okay. No, I can't use it. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe I can only use it in rifts. Is that what those, um... Is that what those special abilities are for? Only usable in rifts, maybe? Maybe. Can we get into this house? Yeah, we can. 
daughter. Did you see how the Great Warden saved me from those corpses? They're amazing. I'm going to see if they're looking for recruits. Uh, don't join the wind. Uh, yeah, I can see the appeal. He just I can saved understand you. how someone might want to join the Wardens. I think you're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes, the Wardens are heroes. They saved me from those demons, Your Worship. Your Worship. With all that's happening, I'd like to help people the same way. You actually want that? I mean, they're heroes, but fighting that stuff all the time. Grey Warden or no, the world needs more people with your courage. She's just wondering where did those people come from? Don't do it. Go ahead and join. Don't do it. What does that crown mean? What is the? Yeah, this is a question for you all. What does the crown icon mean? Is this something that only came from a perk? Um, oh gosh. The thing is, don't do it. If don't do it in this case meant join us instead, I'm totally in. If don't do it instead means like don't do it, save yourself, run for the hills, I don't feel I don't want to do that. I'm going to trust my answer. I'm just going to go ahead and then join. I wish you luck in their service. Thank you, Your Worship. I'll make you proud. Like, because I don't want to go against her. Like, this is where clearly where she's leaning. But she's going to be wondering where all those voices were coming from because no one ever came in to join the join the conversation. Uh, yeah, let's head down. It looks like the village is kind of this way. -ish. It's a pleasant town. It's seen a little bit worse for the wear. Loot. Yeah, let's loot the village. That's the first thing we should do. Good tip for any new area that you enter in life. Try to loot as much as possible. Check out here. Yeah, this is not... This town is not in great shape. Gurgut webbing. What the heck is this? Just some kind of leather? Okay. Take all. Um... Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, so it looks like there is some baddies up ahead. Undead by the gates. Ready when you are. It's the Inquisitor. Do I? I think I might have accidentally taken a, an important ability off of my bars. Um, specifically this one. What is the, wait, tactic settings? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was hoping, how do I add this to the bar? Is it? No, god damn it. This is a little bit frustrating. Tactics, maybe? Mark of the Rift. Enable the one appropriate. Okay. Oh, that's what the X means. Okay. Right, right, right. So that's nice and all, but how do I actually add this to my bar? How do I change the mark? Like, what this is? How do I put Payback Strike on my uh, abilities? This shouldn't be that difficult. I'm sure I'm missing something. No, not that. Not that either. Maybe I can only do it when You've I'm out of up. combat. Probably not. How many did we lose? No one this time. Did you see? The corpses are coming from where old Crestwood used to be. The amount of people we lost back during the blight. Surprised. Hmm. Um, let's see. So now can I do that? If I want to apply this ability. Map the battle menu. Now I can do that. Okay. Gotcha. 
Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And so that brings us to this ability again. You've gained the Mark of the Rift. A focused ability Mark of the Rift causes massive damage. You can even kill some enemies instantly. But again, I haven't. It doesn't seem like I can really use it. Um, so the working theory I have, I guess, is that I can only use it when I'm actually in a Fade Rift, and that's what that that's what those yellow abilities mean, maybe. Like that, all of the characters have here like that resurgence can only work in a rift or something but the game doesn't really tell me it just i guess i'm just gonna have to guess anyway i think that's going to be it for now this is going to be just kind of a relatively short session just kind of getting the specialization thing in order and getting regrouped and back to crestwood so here we are next time we will continue on to the village proper and more thoroughly explore this area so thank you for watching and i will see you later Bye bye